In this video we are doing a classic trip here in Rondane. We are also going to hike up the highest peak, Rondeslotte, at 2178 meters. And the best thing is, you are invited to join us. A lot of mixed things. Nice. This is like putting on a sleeping bag. My favorite pant of all time. Leftovers from yesterday. And for dessert, waffles. Waffles. Isn't that a typical Norwegian thing? Yeah. To eat waffles. Thin, big waffles. Mm -hmm. I think, especially with brown cheese yeah. and jam. But the water was extremely cold. How many degrees do you think? I have no idea. But it felt like a shock <laughs> when I jumped into the water. But you are starting to get tougher. Yeah. I'm getting you there. You wear pussy? Now you're. A chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Intermediate. <laughs> Intermediate chicken. <laughs> mm. Good morning. Today is a beautiful day and we're having oatmeal for breakfast today. Not morabra as we usually do. And we're looking at the map for today's uh, trip. We can try to show you where we're at and where we're going. Right now we are here close to Bergkjenna and today we're going to go northwest and we're going to go to the top of Rondeslotte. We're going to end up close to Rondvalsbu and it's estimated to take around 10 hours to do this hike. That's not bad. We managed to eat breakfast and do everything before 8 o'clock. So now we're ready for the day. This is where the trail splits. So now we're going to hike up there to the top of Rondeslotte. And it should take about three hours. 
three hours of climbing. Oh yeah. Are you ready for this? I guess, but first a snack. First a snack, yes. I agree. And now it begins the ascent up to Ronderslottet. I know that I have said it before, but hiking poles are underrated. It is so good to use the upper body when you hike in the mountains, and especially when it's a lot of elevation, then it's perfect. Windy and ice cold. Yeah. yeah, it's spectacular. We're going to sit here too long. <laughs> yeah, it feels like minus degrees. <sighs> but I know it is. It feels almost colder than winter camping because then you are dressed yes. to be out when it's cold. But now we we came up in shorts and a t-shirt. And we were a bit sweaty as well. Yeah. So when the sweat turns cold. It's really cold. It does. Oh. You ready to move? Yeah. Yeah. It's good to not be on the top anymore. Here it is not that cold. It was extremely cold on the top, especially with the wind. And when you sit for 30 minutes, then you get cold quite fast. Ooh. We managed to get down from the mountain and now we are looking for a place to camp. What about here? It looks nice. Okay, let's 
But is it flat? Oh, yes. I oh, approve. Do you approve? Yes. 10 out of 10. Soft and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This will be today's camp spot. Yay! Well done! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Today we're going to hike back to the car. It's around a six hour hike. First we're going to go back to Bjørnholia and then the last bit back to Strømbø. We are on the move before 8 a.m. today as well. That is good. We are two early birds. We usually wake up between 5 and 6 every day. Saturday, Sundays, doesn't matter. So this is easy for us. But the downside is that we usually are tired around 8 p.m. <laughs> in the afternoon. So we're not that social usually. Go to bed early and then wake up early. Back to where we were yesterday. Oh, yeah. Two hours left. Mm -hmm. Quick lunch break. And then we will be down at Strömbu around 1.30. And then... Straight back home. Yeah. This adventure is now done and dusted. And we are heading back home to eat burgers and ice cream. And as always, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. How much is the fish? How much is the fish? <laughs> so this is what we do when the camera is off. We sing different tracks from Scooter and yeah, what else? And if you want to see the only dance move that uh, Mott knows, it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I dance. Yeah.